Hey guys, today we're working on a wine glass. I believe this is 12 ounces and for me this is the first time I'm doing a wine glass and the first time for leopards. So we are going to have fun and experience this together. So what I've done is I've already painted this cup. It's a metallic bright gold, absolutely beautiful and I really hope the camera is picking up its beauty. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna do a Gorilla Glue spray adhesive to apply our glitter. What glitter we're gonna use today is Recollections Gold. Look at how beautiful that is. Absolutely beautiful. So before I get any further into the next step, let me go ahead and spray this with our Gorilla Glue and I'll be right back to apply the glitter. Okay, so now we're back and we're simply just gonna take our Recollections and we're just gonna pour it all over. Well, if it'll come out. There we go. We'll just hold it back. If you guys have ever seen my videos before, this is how I do my bottoms. Just place it right down. Make sure you got a nice seal. And it's that simple. So next step, now that we have our glitter already on, I'll put this back in the container in a minute. Now that we have the glitter applied, I'm gonna let this dry probably an hour, maybe two, and then I'm gonna spray it with clear matte Rust-Oleum. Once this dries, then I will epoxy. Once this cup is epoxied, I will come back and together we will decal this cup. Okay, so until then, Please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, comment if you have any questions. If there's a tutorial that you might want to see in the near future, please let me know as I'm doing a new thing now where I'm going to shout out if I use your idea in a tutorial. I ask hello, 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 and welcome back. I hope everyone is doing well today. And as promised, as you had seen previously in this video, this is the cup that I have worked on uh, with the Loctite, or I'm sorry, Gorilla Glue and the Recollection Splitter Method. It's already been epoxied and gently sanded down and it's now ready for decals. So you guys can see this cup from start to finish. So I think we're gonna start by putting the name on first because I kind of want the name to go at an angle. And then once I figure out where I want the name to be, then I'll place my lines and then we'll place the leopard print. So to start, I wanna show you guys how I layer this. Now I did an offset on my Cricut Design Space, and I've already got them both cut. So the gold is gonna go over top of the black. And it's so much easier if you layer these first before trying to apply it to a round surface. It's already hard enough to do it once, let alone twice. So let me just show you how I do it. This is transfer paper that I get from the dollar store. It's like magic something, magic cover. It's very inexpensive and that's what I use for pretty much everything. So then we're just gonna take and layer it And I always like to start in the center and work my way out when I'm layering anything. And now you can see this, the little black trim. It's not much, but just enough that it's gonna stand out on this gold glitter. And then we're simply gonna peel this off and apply it to the tumbler. Now, if you struggle getting it to come off, I usually flip it upside down and pull backwards. Just like that. No need to fight with it. Just flip it over and pull it from the back. And 
and then we're just going to, oh, don't do that. We're just gently going to figure out where we want to place it. I think closer to the top, but then you want it to be even. So start from the center and work your way out. Rub it down real good. And then when you peel, just pick a corner and peel down. And there you go. One and done. Especially on a curved tumbler, if this was a 30 or a 20 ounce modern curve, it's hard enough trying to get it over the curve the first time, let alone trying to do it again and trying to layer perfectly. That technique is very difficult, even for the experienced. So I definitely recommend, if it's gonna be a layered name or a saying, layer it before you put it on the cup. That's just my opinion. All right, so now that we have the name, I wanna come in, I'm not gonna get too close because I wanted to put some of the leopard print next to her name to tie everything in. Just pick a spot. There you go. And then grab the other one and do the exact same thing. Okay, and then we're just going to trim off the extra. If you have any. There you go. Nice smooth finish at the top. And now we can play with the leopard prints. So I printed out a couple of different ones. So I'm kind of hoping that these both fit um, the way that they need to because I wasn't necessarily planning on such a, a wide section initially. So we're literally just gonna take this whole thing off and place it on the tumbler. Again, I'm peeling away from the backing. There's no rhyme or reason with these guys. You can place them however you want. I say that, but I wanna be careful in how I'm gonna place them. because I'm gonna have a lot of sections to kind of fill in the blanks. So I'm gonna start at one side and then push down into the center. And then rubbing it down. A little tricky doing it backwards I can tell you that so wherever I have any bumps I can work those out I will work those out 
But it was just difficult doing that backwards like that. I apologize. So I definitely have some that have wrinkles and I'm going to have to fix that. And then just pull back. Now I'm going to use my hooker tool and I'm just gently, gently, gently going to get up underneath here. Being very careful that I don't puncture it and lay it flat. And I have one more right here. So where it's lifted, I'm just going to very carefully, once again, get up underneath there. and flatten it out. So I'm gonna kinda of go at an angle just so I can get those nice and close together right here. And I'm gonna work my way down. I'm gonna leave that like that for just a second. And I'm gonna get those in, when I'm pulling back. Didn't rub that down very good, no? Okay, so now I have a little bit of room here now that it's off the top. I might just go ahead and relift those like I did the others. Oh, might not have to. There we go. All right, so right now it clearly looks splotchy. I need to fill in those blanks. So I actually have some here that I could actually use. And then I have to be very careful because it's a whole sheet. So I just need to be mindful of that so I can go right in here and fill these in. I really don't want to cut it. Like I said in the beginning of the video, guys, this, this genuinely is my very first uh, leopard print that I've ever done. So I wasn't joking about the fact that we're learning this, this together. It's not difficult. It's really not difficult. It, I'm making it look far more difficult than it, than it genuinely is. I just did not print it large enough um, for the cup. I didn't do one whole sheet large enough. That was my fault. I mean, I've been doing cups for a long time. I, I should have known better. Um, but you know what? It happens. It happens to the best of us. Even the most experienced. It is what it is. And that's okay. So I'm just going to kind of squeeze these in here. And then whatever I actually have that's sticking off the cup, I'm going to just cut off. I'll show you what I mean here in a minute. I apologize for making this look far more difficult. Just be mindful when you cut yours out. Ha plan to have more than what you need and then this doesn't happen. So see how that's sticking up? 
we're just gonna cut it. Simple. And now we've patched this little section up and we're just gonna keep going and patching up the rest of them. have an overlap. I just noticed that. Very carefully. And then we're just going to move it right over. Just like that. So I'm thinking I want to cut this off. that little bit. I'm going to have a couple of more spots so I can fill in the blanks. Okay. So there you have it. So, again, normally, guys, I apologize uh, for the way that this went on. Um, I should have been more mindful. I should have been more prepared as far as having a much larger sheet to adhere this print. But, again, this print is new to me. This is the first time I've done it. It's actually a lot of fun. It, it looks fantastic. And because that's all nice and full, I'm going to go ahead and add some to bring this tumbler front and center. I should probably trim that before I forget, real quick. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm in fighting a cold, guys, I apologize. Um, so anyways, I have just a few of these left and I think I'm gonna just kinda place them around her name. Um, not too much, but you know, just to bring the whole cup front and center. Bring it full circle so she has the patterns because the patterns is exactly what she wanted on this cup so we definitely want to use all that we can and make this happen not too shabby for having to piece it all together not too shabby at all I think it looks fantastic and that's all I'm going to put around her name because I really want her name to stand out and then the prints are all to themselves as well So there you have it guys, the start to finish. Start to finish. Well, almost finished. It needs to be epoxy. But you guys have probably seen 
lots of epoxy tumblers, so I won't demonstrate that on camera, but I will try to get a beautiful picture of this for you guys for the end of the video. Guys, I want to thank you so much for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye, darlings.